Friday, the top court has upheld almost all the stringent provisions of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act or the PMLA in proceeds of crime, search and seizure, power of arrest, attachment of properties and bail which were under challenge in the court. Petitioners had argued that unchecked power to arrest the accused without informing them of grounds of arrest or evidence is unconstitutional. Just last week, the Supreme Court had warned of India not becoming a police state and spoke against arbitrary arrests, saying that jail should be the exception and bail the norm. Yet, now another bench has now validated the ED's power of arrest and said the burden of proof is on the person arrested. Several opposition leaders are being investigated by the Enforcement Directorate and today the central agency received a big shot in the arm. The Supreme Court upheld the stringent provisions of Prevention of Money Laundering Act or PMLA including the power to search, seize and arrest. 242 pleas including by politicians Congress MP Karthi Chidambaram and former Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh now in jail alleged that the laws violate fundamental rights and ED is misusing its powers. The top court upheld several powers of the Enforcement Directorate, including the burden of proof is on the accused, ED need not prove guilt, special power to arrest, seize, search without warrant. Statements made during interrogation can be evidence in court. No need to provide case information copy to the accused. PMLA can be applied retrospectively for offences committed before 2002. The court in its verdict said that money laundering is no less heinous than terrorism. It affects social and economic fabric of the nation. It impacts sovereignty and integrity of countries. Special enactments are required to tackle new situations. During the hearings, Centre had defended the amendments to PMLA saying money laundering is conducted not just by corrupt businessmen like Vijay Malla, Mehul Choksi and Nirav Modi but also terror groups. It had said that proceeds of crime worth 18,000 crore rupees had been returned to banks in case of the three fugitives and 982 crore rupees had been seized in terror cases. While the BJP welcomed the verdict, Congress says the law is being misused. The court has just now upheld, upheld the PMLA and the ED's jurisdiction and the Supreme Court has said very clearly that uh, they have that jurisdiction and PMLA is, is within the ambit of uh, the legal uh, uh, ambit in which it is working. We should respect the law and we should respect the law of the land. Sonia ji ko bulaya hai aur aaj tisri din hai tisri baar, tisri baar hai aur pata nahi wo kab tak bulaya hai to ye jo ED ka atank hai desh ke andar ye atank macha raka hai iska fahsla jaldi hona chahi Ironically, it was the UPA government that implemented the law in 2005, but it was the NDA government which made amendments in 2019 that led to the provisions becoming more stringent. After 2019, neither an FIR nor an arrest warrant was necessary to probe the case and carry out search and seizure. Since 2019, there has been a five-fold jump in cases. Money laundering searches have gone up 26 times under the Modi government, but the conviction rate is still low. Over 3,000 searches have taken place in the last eight years, but only 23 people have been convicted. In New Delhi, with camera person AJ Joseph, this is Sukirti Devedi for NDTV.